and uh, the viewer asked uh, basically why am I getting uh, a certain error so let's uh, take a look at the code let's try and run it um, this is based on my Space Invaders tutorial I think this is week four or five so let me uh, run this in the terminal and see what happens okay, so the window pops up things start drawing and then we get an error so when you get an error you gotta look at the error message um, so if we take a look here it says uh, error is in line 99 so it's trying to tell us where there's an error and here's a line if y is greater than 275 so the first thing I'm gonna look at is is the syntax correct okay so for example in the case of an if statement you need to have a colon at the end that's a very common mistake um, okay I see there is a colon everything looks good to me and then I read the actual error message where it says name error name y is not defined so you see here there's a y um, so what this is telling us is that the computer does not know what y is okay so let's go ahead and take a look at line 99 and see if we can figure out what's going on uh, so we've got some code here this is the the main game loop and there's a good comma here moving the bullet so if the bullet state is fire so we're firing the bullet calculate y so here's y is defined so it's gonna be a little confusing so the y equals the bullets current y coordinate we're adding uh, the bullet speed to the current y location so that'll move it and then we're setting the Y. And this next line here says, fired bullet disappear, reached border, and ready to fire again. Um, so if Y is greater than 275, hide it and change the bullet state to ready. So basically what that says is if the Y coordinate is past a certain point up here, uh, yeah, basically hide the bullet and say it's ready for firing. So the question is, why are we getting this error here on line 99? Because clearly, y is defined right here okay so this is one of those things where you have to think about what's going on in the program so if the bullet state equals fire so there's the key thing if the bullet state is fire then we calculate y what if the bullet state is not fire which it is not when the game begins y is never calculated okay so when i get to this line y was never calculated because the bullet state is something else so that's why you're getting the error so the easiest way to fix this uh, is to basically just to indent that or indent that whole section basically um, so basically because we don't need to check this unless the bullets firing if the bullets ready it means it's just sitting there it's it's where it needs to be um, we only need to check this this will make our code a little bit just a tiny bit faster of course uh, and that way we can reuse this y variable now if we want to get around that if for whatever reason you felt that you really needed to do that uh, instead of using y because it's defined inside here uh, we could just say we could do bullet dot y core that would always work um, or again these are not yeah you know, this is not necessarily the most efficient method of doing it we could actually do this although I don't recommend it we could put that there um, but it's kind of a waste of clock cycles because we don't need to calculate this unless the bullet state is fired um, so basically that is why you got that error so I'm gonna put everything back just the way it was and so like I said the easiest way is just to indent and then we'll test it and make sure it's working oops so I'm gonna save that run it again and see if the bullet disappears okay that's that so thanks for the question